Hey, welcome to Hannity Coles. We're glad you're with us. We're live from the spin room. Well, you just watched the first GOP debate in the South right here in Columbia, South Carolina. Now, tonight, we are going to be speaking with each and every candidate on the stage tonight. So who do you think was the big winner tonight? Well, text your vote at 36988. We're going to have until the end of the show. You get your vote in. Here with immediate reaction to all of this important debate news is our own Fox News chief political correspondent, Carl Cameron. Carl. Sean, we're going to have this room filled with the spinners from all of the campaigns in just a minute to tell us exactly what we just saw seconds ago. And as they tell us in individual campaigns' case why they think their candidate won. Good evening, Rudy Giuliani, the front runner in national polls, took issue with something that one of the second tier candidates, Ron Paul, the congressman of Texas, said. I don't think I've ever heard that before. And I've heard some pretty absurd explanations for September 11th. I would ask the congressman to withdraw that comment and tell us that he didn't really mean that. Rudy Giuliani had to just love it. Sean Allen. Presidential candidate and former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani good, will be joining us now. We'll also be checking in with all the other candidates. Governor Mitt Romney will be here and Senator McCain and, and all the candidates you saw on stage here. Mr. Mayor, I know you're just getting set up here. Um, we just replayed the line that you gave to Ron Paul and his statement. You were indignant and you uh, made it known. It was sincere known. and it came from the heart. And that, 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 and that, 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 you know, I was going to uh, this is America's fault. Uh, the way America. I don't know exactly know what he said after he said that, but Mayor Giuliani's intercession there was appropriate and, frankly, very, very excellent. I, I really appreciate it because we should never, never believe that we brought. Michael, what came out of this? Was there a winner or a loser? Do we change the tiers of candidates here? I, I think the tiers pretty much stay in place. I, I think that uh, certainly Governor Huckabee, who I thought, kind of rose up tonight a little bit more. I think Mitt took a couple of shots uh, along the way. I think Ron Paul, basically, for me, it's done. Is there not room in the party, though, with someone who's got a different point of view on Iraq, who's totally anti-war, no, who truly believes our actions may have contributed? Fine. I mean, I think that's perfectly fine, but we have to understand. Yeah, Rudy Giuliani should send him a contribution, I've got to tell you. Okay. Yeah. That was, a, was one of the best moments. One of the best moments in the okay, campaign. I want, I, want to go, I want to stick with that. And welcome back live to Hannity Combs. We're live from the spin room tonight at the South Carolina GOP debate. 36988. By the way, here's a look at the uh, early results of our text message poll. In first place, Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Surprisingly, 33, 30%. In second place, Governor, you're in second place with uh, 27%. Third place, Mayor Giuliani with 16%. And uh, so we'll be watching and monitoring those numbers for you all night. Paint Carl Cameron with the very latest. Carl. Hi there, Sean. Well, Ron Paul coming in with the win on the text message election text message election, at least in the early returns, is almost in line with the attraction that he's caused for the press. It seems that by getting slapped by Rudy Giuliani for his assertion that the U.S. effectively asked for the 9-11 attacks for uh, bombing Iraq when it was under sanctions, uh, he's going to get a lot of ink. So Ron Paul, uh, quite by the actions of Rudy Giuliani's attack, uh, maybe doing quite well. And as for the text messaging, maybe he's a little bit better organized and having his organizers do, do the necessary dialing for all of that. Uh, Mitt Romney coming in a, a strong second above Rudy Giuliani and John McCain not yet placing in the early return suggests that folks have begun to sort of get a grasp for the top tier with the exception of Ron Paul. I did not. I mean, I did. I mean, I did. But let me tell you something. I, I want to say to my barber back home. Keep texting your votes. Who do you think was the winner of tonight's debate? Just text your vote to 36988 as we continue from the spin room right here on Hannity and Coast. Here's another look at the early results of our texting, our message poll. In first place, Rod Paul, 30%. In second place, Mitt Romney, 28%. Third place, Rudy Giuliani with 16%. And now we're joined by presidential candidate, Colorado Congressman Tom Tancredo. You think you should have been a little higher just, there in those? I was uh, just going to say, and then I thought you were going to say, and in fourth place at least, but <laughs> no, now here I am. Hey, listen, so me, my, my view, Congressman Ron Paul did not win that debate right, by yeah. any stretch. Uh, I'm not so. surprised to hear Sean yeah. Hannity say that. But let me ask you about that. You said this, you said it in this debate, you've said it before. 
Okay. Candidate Sam Brownback joins us now live in the spin room. How do you think you did tonight? I thought I did well. And it was a great debate. It was a good chance to be able to talk issues. And the current results of our text message poll in first place, uh, we have, let me see what number, let's put them up on the screen here. It's got to be Ron uh, back. There we go. It doesn't say, it sounds Paul actually, 30 for Ron Paul, 28 for Romney, and we have 16 for Giuliani. Uh, where's Brown back in the first? Uh, well, he would be up there in the front of that. Close to 20,000 votes, and the percentages are still staying pretty consistent. In first place, Ron Paul, 29%, Mitt Romney closing in on 27%, and third place, Rudy Giuliani, 16%. And joining us now is California Congressman presidential candidate Duncan Hunter. Thank you, sir, for being hey, with us. Appreciate Alan, it very much. Great to what be with you. say that Ron Paul, who had that big confrontation tonight with Rudy Giuliani, had a very different point of view on so many issues than every other Republican on the stage, yet first in our texting well, tonight in this vote. I, I think there was a lot of entertainment there, and I think people are looking for entertainment. Do so you think that's what it is? You don't take well, him seriously? Well, I, when he says we started 9-11, no. Well, he didn't say down. he started. He said yeah. our policies... Twenty-six percent in third place. Rudy Giuliani with eighteen percent. And back with us now, former Democratic pollster Pat Cadell and GoPack Chairman Michael Steele, both our Fox News contributors. Michael, what does it say that here you have throughout the night Ron Paul slipping just one percent, but has been in, ahead all night? Perhaps the most controversial statements of the entire debate, and at variance with everybody else in the Republican field. Right. What does it say that he's doing so well in our text messaging among those right. watching it, Fox News? To be honest, right says absolutely nothing. It says that he's got a lot of folks out there who's going to te text message for him. I, I think tonight, in my view, there was clear separation between those who should be in this campaign and those who shouldn't. And I thought that... Based uh, on what? Well, based on, on their responses to the answers, I thought, uh, to the questions, their responses uh, to where they're going to move, uh, would like to move him. In, in my view, I think Paul, in my view, hurt himself tonight a little bit. I think Ron Paul basically, for me, it's done. Is there not room? It's done. Paul, in my view, hurt himself tonight a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit.